depending on when you'll be watching this video my name is timmy Tokwe, and the name of this channel is kk special as you all know if you are a returning subscriber thanks for always coming back thanks for watching my video thanks for the support i see everything god bless you and if it's this and if this is the first time you're coming across my video please do well to subscribe still to the end of this video i promise you amazing content i promise you enjoy watching me so now down to today's video today i'll be showing you the types of food stuff i brought to the uk now let me say food stuffs you can bring to the uk food stuff i brought to the uk because what i would like is not what you like but to just be giving you um maybe a hint or an hint of what you can bring along with you when so, you're coming to the uk first with me what do i start with let me start with this i brought spices as you can see um not chicken i brought four packs of this not chicken and this chicken flavor two packs because um seasoning is very expensive again then i brought this fish i don't know if you can see it well stock fish it was called okoroko i brought a lot of it this is just a portion of part of what i brought i brought iru yeah i brought this this is it, dried iru not the normal one as it was when i was traveling i had of dried iru in my life i am um, so i bought i bought it dried some people say you can buy normal iru and dry it but it smells a lot mm. then i brought corn i don't know if you can see it for a um, wedu then talking about a wedu i brought my ijabe i don't know if I'll, I'll, i can get it here so that's why i brought mine mm, okay i brought seasoning this is curry thyme i have jollof spice and fried rice spice see my used noodle seasoning that i do not use in nigeria i brought everything because i ate noodles with expensive here so can bring only the seasoning while you use their own noodles but from my findings their noodles is not that affordable because i bought one yesterday two for one pound and the normal nigerian noodles here a carton is 11 pounds so and we have 40 packs in it so that means three three of that noodles in fact three and a half is one pound of nigerian noodles and their own noodles here is two for one pound so nigerian noodles is still better so this fish i don't know if this is what they call eja or something but this is kwanla i need to be kwanla eja egun hmm, that's why i know it because it's mostly egun people that sell it so i bought ha ah, what do they call it though there's one name they call it for osil so just 40 pieces in it sure i think they call it lekon or something i can't really remember so i brought grounded pepe i brought cameroon pepe for my my soup of banana like i brought yeah dried pomo let me show you the type of dried pomo i brought not the normal pomo they sell it's like pomo is your to actually this is how it is. It's big, big in it. Not the ones they've cut. My daddy made it himself from Kaduna. My dad works at Kaduna, so he made that one for me himself. He went to, he bought it, like he bought the cow skin. And it, there's a way they process it in Kaduna shop. So he bought it cheaper there. Then I brought catfish. But during the process of the traveling, we were waiting. So yeah, I don't know. It's, it's pieces. I think maybe they put load on it or something. But I'll use my I'll rock my catfish like that, dried catfish. I brought a bono. The the zip lock I used, it opened in my luggage. So I transferred it here. So this is half paint of a bono. Half paint of a bono. I brought gari. I brought two bags of this gari. Two of this gari, two bags. And that's like how many paints? I think I can't remember. I brought a lubo, a lubo for my amala. That's a lubo. Me that brought a jabe for a wedu. I'm supposed to bring a lubo then. Then I brought beans flour for akara and moi moi. I've used part of it, or almost half of it. Safe. I should have done this video a long time ago, but uh, settling in in the UK is, is kind of hard. If you don't have someone, maybe a family or something. So I brought poundo. This is poundo. 
but it is not the regular ayola pando that you all know it's uh, twelve i can't carry it it's not the regular ayola pando that you know there's this pound if you go to i don't know how to explain it i don't know how to explain it it's the local one they make i don't know how to, it's like when you make local wheat like right, you buy the normal wheat and they grind it but when you make it boy you buy the normal if you watched my travel prep video, you see when I went to the market to buy this um, this yam and when I was grinding it for the for the lubo, so that was where I, I got the pound root. So. Then I brought milk. They are milking <laughs> it's something else. So you can bring milk if you want, but I don't I don't really have a problem with their milk here. So I just brought one of this milk. I brought I brought milk. I opened it this morning. I took tea. I put it too much. I only brought this one too. Mm -hmm. I brought custard. My checkers milk custard. I've not seen it anywhere. I saw custard. I saw checkers custard in one African store yesterday. But I didn't see this particular milk. This but if you have tasted this particular milk custard, you know what I'm talking about. The taste is mwah. I brought golden money. If you have a baby, maybe a toddler or an infant that likes golden money, please do it to bring golden money. I brought two packs. One pack has finished. I brought my baby's milk two. One, two, three milk. I only brought two packs. She has finished one. It remains one. Mm -hmm. I brought pepper soup spice. Look how one it smells really, really, really nice. Mm -hmm. So I brought, yeah, I brought semo. I brought a, a this one kg the bag of it that's ten in it, so I brought ten of it. I'm going to buy the big ten kg, but you know if you don't store them well, all these insects enter it. So I just prefer to buy this one one kg. So I bought ten of it. Then what else did I bring? Okay, this palm oil. I just bought it at an African store. So if you know you can't go through the stress of bringing palm oil because if you want to bring palm oil, you have to freeze it, put it in a carton. Um, seal it and the stress. So I said I can't go through that stress because, in fact, they might still seize it at the airport. And once they seize it, it's of no use. So I got this palm oil yesterday at an African store for um, five pound ninety nine. I don't know if you can see the price. Five pound ninety nine pence. That's almost six pounds. I brought one carton of noodles to home. My my people, noodles are finished. Greater. This this my greater. If you know me well, you know I like this grater. I also brought this grater too because they said all this small small grater is hard to find here. So I brought mine. I know I only buy blender and it's been very really 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 helpful. You know when you want to um fry stew for rice. Oh man, when you rice, ah my rice is too much. At rice, you put iru, you put fish. You know this roasted fish, you scatter it inside. This is the type of grater that can do it, and that's how I like to eat my rice and stew. So I brought this grater. Blender will not do that work for me. I also brought um omorugu. Yeah, I also brought omorugu. This is my omorugu. I brought um salmon pekini ibako. I also brought this type. I brought this type too. So in case I want to make some more pound or amala, I will not go through much stress. So I brought them. If you like, say this this baby is too local, she like local food. I beg anything, all this pizza, burger, um, chicken and chips. Like I mean chicken and chips, but not with ketchup. I don't eat salad. So all those things that their food here, yeah, I don't like it. And I'm not sure if I can cook. So I came fully so prepared came. for them. One paint of egusi. But on getting here, the egusi was not dried enough. So I would advise if you are coming, bring your egusi along with you. Um, dry your egusi very well. Dry it well before grinding it. Let me show you mine. So no, when I came, the egusi was already, I don't know. Wait, let me explain. So I have to put it in the fridge. So the, this is the agusi. The agusi is now like, I don't know, it's together, it has matched together like something that is not dry instead of it to be to be in powder form. So they said I can still use it, but just put it in the fridge so it won't get spot. So I have like two of these bags. The other bag is bigger than this one. That's one full paint of agusi. I brought crayfish too. But the crayfish, I, I don't even know where it is now. Because I've arranged this, um, I've arranged these things. I'm just bringing it out one after the other. So I don't 
know where the crayfish is. I brought one paint of crayfish. I already grounded it. Then there's no need to bring rice. Rice is very cheap here. We got this rice here at Audi, one kg, forty nine pence. It's not up to one. It's not up to one pound. Then we got another type. We should have bought two types. So we'll try, try them out to know which one is the best. I can't find it now. You cannot. You don't even have to bring granite oil. Granite oil is very cheap. Here. We bought this one for one pound two pence. I can't remember. You don't have to bring sugar. Sugar is cheap here. I think 95 pence. I got this one at Audi. So these are the food stuffs I brought with me to the UK. If you know you can go through the stress of bringing um palm oil, please bring it. Because some people complain that they don't like their palm oil here, yeah, that it's not good in the mouth. I don't know if you understand you by woman so man I I don't know, I cannot relate. So if you can go through the stress of bringing palm oil, please bring palm oil. What else didn't I bring? What else did I bring that I cannot remember? No. If there's any other thing I remember that I did not put out in this video, I'll type it in the description box. So, thank you. We have come to the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for always supporting me. If you have watched to the end of this video, please do well to hit the like button and drop a comment. Please don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to my channel, please. I beg. Subscribe to my channel. Support me. Thank you for always coming back. So, until next time. Bye. Bye.